I'm Hazus, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the utter madness that's been happening to CSGO skin economy recently. As you probably know, Valve have nerfed the M4A1S and removed Dust 2 from active duty. This means that Dust 2 souvenirs are going to be discontinued and the M4A4 is a more competitive weapon. And the reaction to this is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen, but it's also a lot more complicated than you're probably expecting. And in this video, we're going to be having a look at what's really going on here and also why it probably shouldn't be. Now, we'll start with the M4s. Firstly, with the M4s, the A1S dropped in price a bit, not heaps, just a bit, which is more or less what you'd expect. I mean, it's not as good at range anymore, so maybe it's time to switch to the M4A4, but the M4A4 skins didn't go up a bit. They went fucking bonkers instead. For a few skins like the How, the increase was actually pretty reasonable, but then there's skins like the Coalition, which went up in price nearly 400% after the update. The Poseidon also nearly doubled, the Royal Paladin more than doubled, and the Buzzkill more than tripled. Now, it makes sense that if the A1S got nerfed, the M4A4 would go up in value. Just not like this. A skin like the Coalition, for example, should not be going up in price 400% when most A1Ss have gone down about 15%. That makes no sense. That is obviously a bubble, and it ended in disaster before I could even release this video. What's been happening does have a logical explanation, but it also is not logical. And as for the Gold Arabesque, basically the best skin from the Dust 2 collection, we saw basically the same thing happen. Souvenir Gold Arabesque almost doubled in price the day the map was removed. Now, there is no reason to think this skin has suddenly become more valuable because Dust 2 is not in the active duty map pool. You can still buy Dust 2 souvenir packages in unlimited quantities in CSGO right now. And while it might still go up in price long term, paying twice the price for it at the moment is the height of stupidity. Again, there's a logical explanation for why this has happened, but what's happening is not logical. But the thing is, these spikes are really just the high profile tip of the iceberg because the entire skin economy has been being pumped pretty much all year. In fact, the increase in the price of a lot of high-end skins over the past month has been utterly eye-watering, and this is something that's been mirrored in a lot of other skins over the year. Out of curiosity, I looked at my trading history to see what had happened to the price of a Karambit Phase 2 dot plate, and what I found was that over the course of the year, the price of this skin had increased roughly 65%. That's a pretty big increase. It's been a very good year for skins. And if skins aren't having a good year, it is a lot easier for stupid stuff like this to happen. And it's not even an isolated example either. There's been less high profile cases of this happening this year. Things like the Riptide stickers and the Krakow capsules have had very, very crazy and not rational price increases. A again, it's been going on for a while. This is just the most prominent example so far this year. But why are skins having such a good year in the first place? Well, this is where we get to the point of the video. You see, this is Timmy, or, or maybe he's called Zhang Wei. In fact, Zhang Wei is probably more likely. Anyway, Zhang wants to buy some skins. Maybe he thinks they'll go up in value, or maybe he just wants to show them to his friends. Probably the latter, but no one knows for sure, and anyone who claims to know is lying. Anyway, the reason skins have been going up in value this year is because there are a lot of Zhang Wei's out there, and they are spending a lot on skins. And that is pretty much as deep as the explanation gets. You see, skins are not like things like petrol and iron. There are no fundamentals you can track that will affect the price. They are worth whatever Zhang Wei feels like paying for them right now, and also how many of these Zhang Wei's there are at any given time. This is something that can't really be tracked or predicted and is not going to behave in a rational way because there's nothing rational about most people's decisions to buy video game cosmetics to show off to their friends. There's nothing to price in. It's based on emotion. And this is where it's a good idea to look at the crazy movements we're seeing for M4A4s and the gold RFS. Because in an economy where prices are mostly based on people's feelings, Hearing the M4A4 is more competitive and people starting to see the price going up can create some absolutely lethal fear of missing out. And suddenly, you can understand why someone might get carried away and buy a coalition at 400% of its pre-update price. It's still stupid, but you can see why someone might make that mistake because they're not pricing it based on anything rational. They're pricing it based on the feels and the feels are not a sound way of making an investment. Now. 
This doesn't mean you can't make informed decisions when investing in skins. You can and you absolutely should. You should always look at fundamentals like supply and demand, whether something's discontinued, how good looking it is, stuff like that. It's all very important. But what you've also got to keep in mind is that this is a video game. Most people own skins for fun. And as a result, the market for them is not always going to act in rational ways. If you treat it as an opportunity, you can really use it to your advantage. Just don't buy into the hype just because everyone else is. And if you see a hype, that is probably a good sign you need to be careful. And this is the perfect example of that. It's why you shouldn't buy into this stuff. And if you do, it can blow up in your face. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to put some more structured thoughts out there rather than clips taken from my stream. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Massively appreciated. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.